Hey, good day guys. Welcome back to the Cool Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. I like you to avoid the cool graphics. Today, I want to show you how we can manipulate uh, an object on our PC lab as usual. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn very simple how I'm going to turn a pineapple to something amazing. Actually, this uh, particular design was made using a Photoshop. So I want us to try it and see how well we can do with our tools on our PC lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do, we need to uh, deal with our background. So I want to use this background. So let's say, for instance, select the size to whatever you want. So let's say 1062 by 1280. Sorry. So let me open. So we we'll select the size anyway to 1062 by 280. So we should be able to get that is the three size. So after that, we change the background color. So I use uh, ingredients as you can see. This one is deeper, this one is lighter. So and you can adjust it depends on how you want it. So now we have this. Now that we have this, then the next thing I want us to do to make everything okay. So we are going to make sure that this one is somehow. So shift it a little bit to this side. So that we have something deeper. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to our sticker. So select this in your sticker. Then we are going to change the color. Tap empty area. Then we change the color for this. So the color will be changed. So we have this color. So we are going to copy. Just duplicate to as many as you want so that the center was abso absolutely uh, illuminated. So we want to create a kind of effort at the center, which is amazing like this. So we can now head him back to here where we are going to just close monitor the hatch and we have this particular result. So now having have that, having got that, then the next thing we are going to do is to bring in all the elements one after the other. So I have a table which I want to bring. So take it for reasons. This table will be brought forward. Okay. So let us do we have this particular table. So I just want to position it anywhere around here. So this is where we are going to place our manipulation. So after that, heading back to the gallery. So the next thing I want us to do, we are bringing this one here, as you can see. So the next thing is to use our erase color because nothing like blending here. We'll have even love to blend it, but nothing like blending. So we won't be able to use that. Then we we'll bring in this pineapple. You can see. So how to manipulate everything first. So after bringing the pineapple, then we are going to bring a straw. So position the straw around here. How can we make this straw look exactly as if it enters, it penetrates the pineapple? So we are going here, just selecting zero with uh, something like opacity while we use stroke for it. Then we reduce the size, reduce the size, reduce. So reduce the stroke. Then let's check. So now we are going to do something magic here. So I'm going to cut out this into two. Okay. So cutting it out into two. So after cut out, because that is the only way we can make it work. So we sorry. So we enable. So we have cut it out. Then we copy. After copy, we enable it again so that we see the outer. So now we move this. So the first one will be moved to the back of this. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So after moving it, we are going to position it around here. Very cool. Very cool. So the second one will be moved towards the top. Okay. Just to cover. 
perfect so now shift it let it come down perfect 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 you can see so now we are going to move this up a bit so that it will look real where we want it to show very cool so now we cut out the mouth of this so that it will not be too obvious so cut out the one that is showing a little bit perfect perfect as you can see everything is plumb so we're going to merge this together merge it together okay perfect perfect now we are able to create that effort there but the funny thing is this we supposed not to merge that yet because the black is actually showing too much so what we're supposed to do next is to change the color to something like yellow so change it to something like yellow like that one then after change it to yellow change it to yellow we are going to now apply a shadow so we apply the shadow to the two so we apply a shadow to the two so the shadow we just uh, a little bit okay perfect so let's see two why this one carry two as well the blur radius we reduce it a little bit while we have our result here so now you can see we have something ticks so the next thing another thing i'm still thinking we should do is to just uh, blur it go to inner shadow just as perfect as this so we are going to reduce the radius not to be too much blur something like one so we have one here offset minus one plus one and one here so we are going to repeat the same process for this okay repeat the same process perfect so we are one minus one plus one so now we can see categorically that uh, that place is already well original so very very cool you can see you see how the thing is uh, somehow penetrating so another thing that we're going to do after achieving that we already positioned that so we are heading back to our gallery then uh, we bring this particular glass which is going to be we're going to position it here after position just apply a shadow just one and you move this towards the hash so drop it one perfect so we are going back to gallery sorry heading back to the gallery then we look at for the mouth so we want to put mouth here so the mouth will be at the center here but one thing is how are we going to make it uh, blend together so we are going back to our shadow apply a shadow don't let it be too much it should be too somehow lighter let's see two offset should be one there's nothing like a uh, uh, offset x should be one y offset y should be uh, uh, minus one then we go back to inner shadow inner shadow will make it work perfectly so we're going to reduce the radius to something like one offset y minus and plus then you can look at it everything seems cool right so we still going to tap on it then we are going to adjust something here so we move this back a bit for us to see because it shouldn't show much okay perfect perfect so we need to look at it critically so she be doing me to do that but she very obvious very very cool so the next thing we're going to do we have to add in something here so we have a drop down stuff here to make it cool so we have this drop down which we are going to position here so we are going to reduce this a little bit so have it position here very cool so a little bit then we are going to add something join this so look at the yellow as an example we look at the yellow as an example something darker a little bit so we we we, we are applying that a little bit but not as obvious as that so we have this then we go back to gallery we we'll bring the second one okay 
bring the second one just make it look real anyway so after we drop this we are going to the opacity reduce the opacity a little bit okay perfect so the first one reproduce the opacity for it as well so we reduce the opacity very very cool now we are done so the next thing we're going to do is to merge them together excluding the table we're going to merge everything together okay After merging, we can now reduce the size. You can see, right? So we are going to bring the table down a little bit. Perfect. So we reduce this, reduce the size. Okay. So now what we are going to do next, we are going to apply a shadow, drop down shadow, let it calm down a bit so you are reducing it then we have our drop down shadow the radius should be reduced to something like a minus two to make it look real so after that the next thing we are going to do is to just go to uh, the run shape like this we are going to position it just as perfect as this so the next thing to do is to go to um, the color we're going to the color area so apply a color which is black then sorry apply black color then go to radius I mean to opacity let it be zero then you go back to the shadow apply shadow okay apply shadow so the next thing we are going to do is to just uh, increase the opacity then go back to where you select click on plus sign click on plus sign then you reduce everything okay go here just remove the color that's what I'm doing remove the color to zero remove the color to zero so we are heading back here to remove the color to zero okay remove the color to zero or better still remove the color stroke So we are going to reduce the opacity now we are trying to form stroke here I mean we are trying to form shadow so the blur radius should be 100 percent while we click on plus and reduce this to bare minimal level so at the end of the day we are going to position this let it be long so we are going to position this under this cool so it will be a kind of a shadow anyway so we have this to be locked so that we can adjust our shadow perfectly okay so we can position this to the center now we have uh, the work done right so the next thing we are going to do is to we are coming here we bring the cloud to make it uh, look real so this was downloaded on png egg. then we send it to the back very cool so after that has been done we are going to bring this down the three just make it and bring it down a bit perfect so now the next thing we are going to uh, just make just to put in our right up we have this lock so we lock this then we have something so like for instance we look at uh, 
everything is actually plum we just have um pineapple pineapple manipulation so we use a uh, we look at the better <laughs> font here so take it for instance let's check for uh taking by future so not really okay not really cool so let's source for the kind of a font we can use that will really portray what we we'll actually wanted to do so this is not work so what about this pineapple not really bold enough okay guess this is okay pineapple black sword again think plus what okay I want something boat was this such sourcing for font anyway <coughs> pineapple okay guess this should be the best so we will just have uh, something written around there <coughs> Sorry. So let's have it at once. Penapu manipulation. Penapu manipulation. So that we have the work okay so now we can pick any of this anyway so let's say we have this this is cool so we just have a position around here if possible we shift up a bit perfect then the table should be given a shadow as well to place it properly then drop it down a bit just one or reduce to make it steady okay accurate okay perfect so now we are done with everything i don't know you can see it's just a simple trick so now we can uh, uh edit and whatever we want just thought of it uh, you find inspiration or you look at uh, what was done with another software you try it out and let's see whether it's look real and this is a uh, a simple trick so now you can come up with a uh, 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 manipulation on your handwriting smartphone using your pc lab i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you